Hi and welcome to the uh, Triple of iPhone app tutorial. I'm Alex, one of the founders of Triple of and the product manager for the Triple of iPhone app, which was released uh, today in the App Store, and we're very excited about it. Um, just wanted to spend like a minute or two to show you some of the key features of the new iPhone application. Here we'll start the uh, Triple of iPhone app, and as you can see, um, you're presented with the login screen. You can, of course. Uh, log in with your triple user credentials if you're already a triple member. If you're not, it's no problem. You can uh, click on the register button and register directly from the uh, iPhone, or if you want to just give it a shot um, and try it out, uh, you can just click on the guest mode button. Since I'm, of course, a member, I'm going to quickly log in here. And as the as I log in here, it also gets all my favorites from the uh, triple server and loads it and preloads it onto the um, iPhone, so that I always know uh, for which destinations my my favorite locations are. Um, to start the application, you basically get presented with the uh, main screen, which is the my guides my guides area. In the my guides area, you have uh, a variety of um, all your basically all your travel guides are presented. You're starting off with uh, with the new version. You get the free premium country guide of Austria. Um, you can search, of course, for any new uh, guides. I'll show you that in a second. Other features that we have is um, the Locate Me button. You can quickly click on the Locate Me button, which locates you and downloads the guide for that particular city that you're currently in. Uh, you can click on the Add a Place button. Um, this allows you to add a completely new place if um, Triple doesn't have it or you've discovered a new um, new uh, place that uh, you would like to share with the Triple community. And this is the Online Offline button where you can uh, manually switch uh, between online and offline mode. So, for example, to search for a completely new uh, destination, or any destination, you can quickly swipe to the left and type in any destination that you want. Um, the new feature here is that you can also uh, search for countries, regions, and cities. So there's no real um, limitation here. Let's say if I want to search for Spain, because I'm going on a trip to Spain, I can find all the main cities in Spain as well as the actual country itself. So I want to actually go to Spain and select that. Each of these guides are available for free or in premium. Some of the premium ones, which we think are extremely good, um, are cost about four euros ninety nine cents. Um, a lot of them are also for free. Basically, the premium guides differentiate themselves from the free guides by having all the information available that uh, that is on the Triple system. Um, these includes uh, phone numbers, uh, addresses, um, websites, email addresses, and so on and also includes all the content that we have. Um, we have partnered with the, a lot of trusted travel guide publishing companies such as Marco Polo or Footprint and um, you can uh, get access to all of this information if you choose the premium guide. So I'm going to select the premium guide to show you what the premium guide looks like. Now it's connecting to iTunes and I'm going to purchase this product very quickly. This is a test account so this unfortunately cannot be used for purchasing. So now I'm basically connecting to the iTunes store. I'm fulfilling the in-app purchase of this particular guide. Um, and once this is complete and Apple uh, has approved the purchase, I can download it right now. So now I've downloaded the uh, Spain country guide. Um, I'm going to go into the actual Spain country guide and take a look and show you um, how we structured it. Um, the Spain country guide basically consists of the top regions, top cities um, of, the, of the country, ranked based on the triple community. And in each of these guides, you can find the top highlights for each of the different categories. Categories include culture and sites, nightlife, eating, accommodations, and so on. So in this view, you have the overview of all the um, points of interest found within regions and cities of, of Spain listed nicely in, in order. You can actually go in here and look at the various different sites um, and where it is found. So in this case, this is a, a site in Barcelona, this is one in Madrid, and so on. You can also, of course, navigate directly into a city and see the list of cities. Again, by default, it is ranked based on the votes from the Triple community. Um, you could also rank it based and sort it based on different kind of criteria like distance or alphabetical order and so on. Let's go into the Barcelona guide. As I mentioned beforehand, this is just like a, the top highlights. So we have top five highlights of each category downloaded. This should only um, act as a preview if you want to download the entire full uh, Barcelona guide. All you have to do is quickly click on the download premium guide and that gives you access to download the entire city guide. So the country guides can be seen kind of as, a, as an overview of the top highlights the country has to offer, allowing you to um, 
delve deeper and uh, download the specific region guides or country guides depending on um, which areas you find most interesting. So now I'm downloading Barcelona. Barcelona is a very cool city. I'm going to get the country guide and download it and take it on the go. What we also do is the moment you download a particular guide, it is immediately available for offline use. All features, which is the main point of the entire iPhone application, it's a travel application, all features are available offline. You can write reviews. Here is now the Barcelona guide. I can go in here. Um, and here now in the Barcelona guide, you basically have all the information that we have available for this particular city. So if you look at the top things to do, I can go to the various different points of interest and within the points of interest I have all this information from, for example, in this case from Marco Polo, including reviews, addresses and so on. If I want to know how to get there, click on the address and it shows me and opens up Google Maps. Um, one of the good things, the cool things about the iPhone application is that you can also interact with it. So you can vote for it by clicking on the I like it button. If you click on the I like it button, it immediately synchronizes with the triple server if you're offline, if you're if you're online, if you're offline, it saves it and then once you get online again later on, it synchronizes all the changes automatically with the triple system and it shares the information with the rest of the community. So if I click on the I like button, then it gets added to my favorites. And I can also write a review for sharing as to why I particularly like this destination. Um, I can also add photos by clicking, simply clicking on the photo if a photo is not available or if a photo wants to be updated. Um, and I can write reviews directly by clicking on the button below. So basically, this is a short introduction of what we can do. There's of course a lot more interesting features that Triple has to offer. Uh, offer. Um, you basically now through the Triple iPhone applica application have your whole world in your pocket and I hope you really enjoy the application. If you want to give us any feedback, please send us a quick mail at iphone at triplewolf.com. Thanks.